Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a flower, leaves, and other more technique on how to make the most realistic flower. You have to create something like this. This is made of um, plastic spoons. You'll be needing a lot of floral wire and floral tape. And then cut them into small pieces. It totally depends on you on how many flowers you want to make. You'll be needing 5 short ones and 5 long ones per flower. So you can decide accordingly. When you cut all your wires, get your gum paste and create a small circle. This will serve as the buds of your flower. Dip your wire on edible glue so that your gum paste will not be removed. I'll be using 5 buds per flower, but you can increase or decrease according to your liking. Create as many as you need and when you're done, set it aside to dry. For making the petals, we will be using the back side of the board. Do not forget to put corn flour so that your gum paste will not stick with the board. Of course, you can use any color. It's just that I need black for today. Get a flower cutter and press it onto your gum paste. And then remove all excess gum paste. You'll have like an inverted teardrop shape. Get your longer wire and press it inside the petal. Do it gently so that it will not stick out of the gum paste. Use the help of the cutter so that you won't damage your petal. And then take out your silicone mold and then press them together. Take out your shaping foam and press the edges using your fondant tool. This will make your petal look realistic. And then place it on one of the spoon to rest. Now you'll have to repeat it for each petal. I'm going to repeat the process but this time it's on the side view just in case you need to see it on the, a different angle. Making edible flowers takes a lot of patience because you have to do it petal by petal. When you're done with 5 buds and 5 flower petals, combine them together and use a floral tape. Use your fingers to separate each bud. and add each petal one at a time. Use the pliers if you want to reshape your petal because at this time your petal is hard so it will break if you move it. And then use a floral tape to combine them together. Repeat the process for each petal
And now we have our flower. It will look something like this. This is the view from the top in case you miss something. Now you know how to make a flower, but of course, a flower is not complete without its leaves. So now we will be making leaves. Get your wires and create small pieces. We will be using the same process, but with a different mold. We will be using this cutter and mold. Cut the leaf shape and then remove excess gum paste. And press your molder into the leaf. And then gently put a wire inside. Use a cutter to help you remove it from the board. Get your shaping foam and press it on the edges. This will make your leaf edges thinner. And then shape it how you want it and set it aside. Now I'll be making another one which is a little bit bigger. I'll be combining different sizes of leaves in my flower. This is how they will look like. And um, I will be adding a very long thin strand of leaves. This is completely optional to add some accent. If you'll be planning to do this as well, try to make it as thin as possible. When you're happy with it, hold the edges and then bend. So now I've created quite a few. We will now combine them all together. At this point, it's completely up to you, like how you want them to look like. Just combine three or four leaves together and then combine them using a floral tape. Sorry, I forgot to record the circle one, but what I did was created a round gum paste, attach it on a wire, and use a cutter to create a X mark on top. Now I'm just mixing and matching all the things that I have done beforehand.
Just remember to use supplies when you are forming your flowers. Uh, this flower will actually go on top of the cake. So shape your flowers according to your needs. I'll be adding the long strands that we did earlier. It's not very important, but it makes so much difference. It will make your flower more sophisticated. It looks very good, don't you think? Using edible gold, I will put some gold on the edges because actually our theme for today is black and gold. So there you have it. I hope you've learned from our tutorial for today. If you'd like to learn more, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!